Welcome, welcome, everyone, to Chesapeake TV, episode 183. Today is December, October, okay, it's November 10th, 2015, good, I was in the right year. Today we're going to do something completely random, and by that mean, I mean random start positions. I'm excited to play some Chess 960. It's been a while, but I made a thread saying, what do you guys want to see? And there was one lost soul who said Chess 960 would be nice. He also put a little asterisk there, and, and then underneath that he wrote, with your usual epic commentary. And of course, being flattered or flattened, either one is fine with me, I was eager to meet that request and play some Chess 960. For those of you who don't know, that's chess where the starting position is completely randomized within certain parameters. Those are important so that you don't start out with pawns on the 8th rank by mistake and turn them into queens seems slightly unfair. So the pawns start out in their normal positions, but the pieces are randomized with certain restrictions. Both your bishops are on their appropriate colors because it sure would be disappointing to get two dark squared bishops that just run into each other constantly and you can never attack the light squares. Did you guys notice that bishops never move off their same color? Did you notice that knights never don't move off their same color? Yeah, think about it. Seems like a good time control. A knight will, whenever it moves, move to the opposite color. It has no choice but to do that. It cannot stay on the same color during a move, so it's the opposite of a bishop, which is why it's worth about the same number of points. Just kidding, it's completely arbitrary that it's worth the same number of points. So that's a rule. Another rule is that your king has to start out between the rooks somewhere so that you can castle in either direction. Let me show you, king, rook, rook. You see that? You never get like rook, rook, and then king over here. That's because then you can't castle in the other direction. No, it's Runderp. He's coming for me. I'll just say hi. This is very dangerous. And the bishops are on opposite colors. Other than that, you can get any any re rearrangement of pieces that's possible, which there's 960 of them, hence they get the name Chess 960. So we're feeling unique. Let's study this position well. I've got a, a couple of fianchettos here. Um, maybe I should put my bishops off in this direction. Um, my knights are both attacking here. That's not too useful. Uh, so maybe I just bring, bring here. I just maybe I just push that. Yeah. So he can't really attack. Uh, that's free. I was gonna say he can't attack this pawn. He can't really attack these dark squares. But look at that. He just did. So now he sacrificed a pawn in an interesting looking game. But I'm gonna set up a protectionary. Um, structure for this pawn so that I can no apparently I'm too slow so I'll just trade that pawn away now he got all the center because I didn't even notice didn't even notice this obvious capture so let's see what I can do now um, I'm gonna get my queen of knights off the back rank I guess I'll move the knight off and the bishop what should I do with the bishop So I'm thinking like this. The knights are very entangly, entangly, extremely entangly. <clears throat> and I gotta get them out of here. I'm not sure which way to castle, but I'm favoring kingside just because that protects this Fianchetto bishop nicely. And there's no reason not to. Mm, so here I could play f5 to release my bishop. That's pretty tempting. In fact, I think I'll play that um, just to get this bishop out quickly. It's very comforting to do that. Okay, so is there some terrible tactic here? Yes, there is. I cannot protect this knight. Disappoint. Can I trap his queen, maybe? Disappoint. How, how do I protect this stupid knight? If I move the knight, I lose the rook. Then can I trap his queen? <laughs> what? This is very unfortunate. He adds me time. Don't add me time. Let me die in peace. Not in pieces. Oh, did I type die in pieces? That's totally different. Uh, not all. And, and throwing up. And throwing up. Let me die, not ball and throwing up. That's a quote I heard yesterday, and I would highly recommend it. Unfortunately, I am bald and throwing up right now. I'll lose the rook. Why would I want to die bald and throwing up? The answer is I would not. So if you get cancer, you sometimes have a choice between dying respectfully, aka do nothing, or die bald and throwing up, aka poison yourself until you're bald and throwing up. Um, and neither of those choices is very attractive to me, but then again, I'm not very attractive. So uh, you get what you get. Let's see, if I take this, that's gonna be a check. 
And I'm still down a rook, so I definitely need to stir up some throbble quickly. Otherwise, I'll just lose. In fact, I'm just going to lose. I don't know why I'm playing wrong. I don't even know. I'm hoping to trap his queen. But he could come here now. So now I can't trap his queen. So I'm down a whole rook, so I guess I'll resign. Uh, that was sad. For me. However, for him, he was so happy he actually clicked this button down here that makes it say good game. I'm annoyed. I'm annoyed that I lost my rook. That would never have happened in chess. I would never put my knight on whatever it is, seven, in front of my rook, neither of them guarded, to allow a queen to skewer them. I mean, how often does a squeen queen skewer anything? A squeen cure anything? Because it's so valuable. It's not going to trade for my rook or my knight. It's not going to... How did it do that? How did I not have anything protected? That's obnoxious. Now Ronderp wants to play half... Oh, I forgot. Guys, I noticed this, but I forgot about it. Look at this. Oh, yeah. Um, um, stay on this page. There's a new game mode. Half a minute for the whole game. Oh, and nothing added. So I'm just going to say uh, colon O. Nobody knows if this is a really long beard because I've been waiting forever. Or if it's actually a drooly face because I can't close my mouth. So I just think of it as both. I think of this as a really old drooly man right there, who is both really old, half of it's the beard, and really drooly, the other half is the drool. So this is 30 seconds for the entire game. No delay. Let's see what we can do here. Hmm. I'm playing too smartly. Am I really down a piece? 10 seconds is not enough time for the game. Oh, he guarded it. Oh, he had time to take that too, and I'm out of time. Oh, what is wrong? What is wrong? Old Chess Wiz is not as fast as Young Chess Wiz. Do you guys remember episode 25? Neither do I. But back then, I was so quick. I was faster than Ron Derp. But now I'm not. He's as well played, and I'm going to say, got to go, bye. So then I can just leave, and then I'll play him again. I've got to go, and now let's play again. <sighs> Who cares? Okay, so I'm stopping my rant, and I'm starting some calm... Calm chess with wise moves and fast moves. By the way, 30 seconds is not enough time for a game, so let's just see what we can do. If I can master the 30 second game, then I can berserk in one minute tournaments. Mind blown. Okay, in two moves off castle. Oh, that's pretty good. Okay, that's not a very good start, but his queen is, uh, his queen's nothing. Check him for, for fun. <laughs> What's going on? Get this rook over here. 14 seconds for the whole game? Not only am I down 10 seconds again, but I blundered a piece on like move two, like move three, and then I like got like checkmated and stuff. Wow! I'm just gonna send another drooly face. What? And this time I have a whole bunch of I can't find my tilde button. So the reason I can't do that is that my keyboard doesn't have a tilde button on it. It's got no keycaps at all. So there's absolutely no way I can find a tilde here. So these up here are the numbers, and I don't know where they stop. It's like, well, is this the one? Is this the one? Um, and somewhere over here is the tilde, right next to the button that turns off my entire computer. It's a very deadly keyboard. It's not as bad as this chess. Let's play some more. Okay, so I've received a challenge up here in the corner. It's from Nicholas. So he wants to play me half, but it's bullet, so no, because I'm playing chess 960 today. Um, chess 960, which I'll say in the chat. Oh, no, I'm out of battery? Hold on, guys, hold on. Light in the world. Turn on. Hold on, plug in, plug in. 
plug in. Oh no, this, I hate it when this happens. So unfortunately, I think that plugging in the computer during the broadcast slows down my browser. Is that true? I'm not sure. Okay, here we go. We'll find out. I'm doing better. I could even be ahead on time. Oh, this is a fantastic. What's going on now? Wow. I could win this game. Mm. No, <laughs> that felt stupid. Hmm, that's not protected. Time, time, time. Three seconds. No, out of time. No, why am my mouse so slow? Why is my brain so slow? Why am I not winning? So, upper rook here, right? Yeah, don't mind the opening, it's kind of bad. Upper Rook, I should be able to win this, but I only have 27 seconds or whatever to win. Oh, 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 and there's a challenge again. This time it's from Red Raff, and he wants to play half plus five. Much better. I'm leaving you in the dust, Rondep. I'm not even saying goodbye because you just destroyed my rating. Ow, I'm just going to type out of this other random guy, this Red Rat fan who loves red rats. Yeah, I'll just say out to him. Okay, so let's think about this. This position starts with the double fianchetto built in. I mean, this is like deluxe edition, chess 960. The bishops are already doing their thing. So why not close up the position? Uh, the reason is because the double fianchetto is totally dumb. If I do that, but I'll close it up anyway. Because dumb for him too. I mean, equally dumb. Dumb is dumb for both of us. Okay. Take that, bring the knight up, the is already done. This is this is like chess. I, I can play this. Here we go. You're too slow, Grandpa Wiz, it says, it says in the chat. Well, I'm gonna at least say that that's a very endearing term. Grandpa Wiz. I feel loved and accepted, guys. When you call me grandpa, I just think of an old man who can't see. And I think that you care about me because most people care about their grandfathers and if you don't care about yours shame on you i'm not sure what else to say i mean that i don't know where that went Qu very quickly that went downhill i mean what am i doing shaming my viewers but it's true you should care about your grandpa but once again that's a dead end commentary right there you can't really say anything after you say shame on you for not caring about your grandpa there is no follow-up statement except for the statement there is no follow-up statement i mean that's pretty fitting i suppose uh, what's my knight doing? This? <laughs> I can't draw arrows. Don't mind me. Let's get this thing castled. Queenside? Awfully dangerous. So whichever way I castle, he'll checkmate me. No, I could not have forked him. Hey, the bishop was guarding it. The bishop was on the square. I couldn't fork him. Ah, I can't draw arrows. I forgot that part. So I'm bringing the bishop up so I'm more comfortable with the fianchetto. He goes queenside. All right, let's destroy him. First, let's open up the kingside. That doesn't make sense. Let's... I actually want to castle kingside now so that I can just destroy him over here. Of course, he's got a pretty comfortable attack on me. But I can always castle the other side. I can always just surprise him. Which I'll do. But I'm still playing on the queen side because I have more space. Guys, did you know the rule of thumb, which says use your thumb to make rules? Uh, if your pawn chain is pointing in a certain direction, in this case, clearly over there, uh, over there, I mean, then you should, what move is that? Mm -hmm. Attack and play in that direction because you have more space there. That's the reason for the rule. Because I have all this space in this area of the board, that's why I'm playing over there. Let's bring the rooks to the C and D files. Actually, B and C files might be good. Hmm. These knights are awfully comfortable. I 
I don't know what to do. My bishop's really out of the game, but his bishop's also lame, it seems to rhyme. I wonder, though, if I should recapture with knight here. I'm going to say that I have more space, so I'll keep pieces on the board. The knight has a pretty good home right here, too. Oh, yeah. Is he going to play b5? Am I going to play b5? This is an interesting square. What will happen? Uh, this is forced. I think I'll try b5, actually. Ooh, this is very difficult. You know, there were a lot of options here that I didn't go with, probably better ones. <laughs> but he doesn't have any points of penetration here. His rook cannot come in. His bishop does nothing. There's a trade. His rook can still not come in. There's b5. So let's maneuver the knight. Where? Um, I don't know. I want to get the knight here. Oh, this is weird. But after queen c2, maybe I can... I need to get some time on my clock. Okay, he plays the sacrifice. I think this is pretty good here. The knight is now pretty useful. I'll play the knight to c3 quickly. Now I can put the knight here. Assuming he doesn't push, I'm hoping he doesn't push. That makes his center a lot better. Hoo boy, he pushes. Okay. My bishop is such a loser. But it's doing one thing. It's guarding that square pretty well. And it's an extra bishop, so. Uh-oh. <laughs> kind of trapped. Trade, really? I don't think I want to trade. Oh, I could have traded and forked him. But this knight is a beast anyway. Let's see what else I can do with it. Double attack on a6. Look out. Look out. You had knight fork. Thank you, Dragaus. I saw it before I saw your message, but it's true. Queen xb7, d6. Oh, everyone wants me to notice that little shaming, shaming thing. Um, so I'm checking specifically for knight forks here because I don't want to embarrassingly miss any more. I'm going to say this is really blocked up. So I'll just take this and promote this. It's nice now if I could get my if I could uh, get my bishop out, that would be great. In two moves, I could do that. It's a great idea for him to play the lever here. Let's get the bishop out. I think I'm still safe. Okay, I'm up to 26 seconds because I'm getting more time every move, so that's good. Um, Rook c1 and knight e4. This is such a good square for the knight. He really had a tough choice when he had two pawns here uh, because together they're attacking a lot of the board because they're attacking all these squares. But eh, they're also brittle and fragile because I was attacking some of them three times, and by that I mean the one that was here. So he pushes. Now it's sturdy, but he has got this horrible hole. So it's a, definitely a, a, a trade-off for him. Let's put the bishop here blocking my super pawn so that's probably not very smart is this safe <laughs> i don't know Ooh, 
Whoa. Definitely have to do that and get checkmated. Oh no, what a nice move. Um, that's a cool thing. I didn't actually see this bishop was guarding down here. So I walked into a checkmate basically and I was totally winning. So that's typical for Chesswiz TV. But three attackers on this square, I'll say well played, even though it wasn't. His sacrifice of a piece in the middle I don't think was very good. Huh. In fact, I actually want to see the analysis board on that and see uh, if the computer thought that was a good sacrifice because I think the computer is going to say it was a really stupid move. So three attackers, that's a, that's a good puzzle right there is how do you checkmate the king because I expected him to play queen here, king out, and then rook here, and then I am losing the bishop. So king back, queen takes bishop. That's what I expected. And then I was going to take his rook, he took me, and then I was going to check here and I could pick up his bishop or I could try to check him some more, which... I don't think leads to anything, but I could still try. But that rook a1, what a brilliancy, pulling the bishop off so the queen guards c2. And now I take with king, then it pulls it underneath the checkmate. Wow, nice move, rook a1 check. Did not see. Well, that was pretty fun until I lost. <laughs> Funny how that happens, right? I really just played suboptimally there. And the, when, when I had my first check, could have played that fork, picked up his rook. I think I'm winning by a lot right here. Take that, take that, take that, take that. Okay, so it's two bishops against two bishops and I have a rook. So here I, I could play bishop like this. Win easily, easy win. Thanks all you viewers who told me I had an easy win. Thank you. Mm. This vase water is very delicious. Let's see what the computer says. Uh, inaccuracy, blunder, inaccuracy, blunder, inaccuracy, blunder. Uh, even. It actually says it's kind of like an even position here. Uh, but white's kind of winning here. Black's kind of So these dips down are where black had awesome checkmates and he missed them. And they get progressively more dippy. And here, right here, is where I could have played. Instead of 92, I could have played queen a7. No, this is him. Queen b6 check. Oh, that's what I missed. Queen in there. Mm. That'd be pretty deadly. Too bad there's all those good moves I didn't make. Oh, huh. mm. <laughs> so yeah, as, as we learned here, there's minutes per side half, three quarters, and one. That's kind of cool. Maybe next episode on Thursday, I'll play more of that super fast time control half a minute and that will be mind-numbingly fast but right now I'm interested in chess 960 you definitely get different positions in this variant than you do in regular chess let's see what we've got right here some cool bishops coming in this way and some cool knights being knight-like over there so this time the knight c3 is possible so I'll play e4 and knight c3 to protect it also d4 protected by this bishop um, is possible Let's play knight e3. <laughs> I mean, I can't resist the awesomeness of the double attack here on the square. Now, this is actually kind of cool. Ooh, I'm playing. Ooh, that's a nice name. I mean, this is good for me. How do I bring out the rest of my pieces? Where does the knight go? Here, I think. It doesn't block anything. It has some options. Particularly interested in d4, maybe c3, d4, because it takes some extra space that way. Someone is screamingly very unhappy in my house. No, actually, that's your house. You just can't tell. I'm Red Rat, thanks for the game. It is not letting me talk on the chess chat. I think it is letting you talk on the chess chat based on the fact that you just talked on the chess chat. Oh, this chess chat. So let's test it. Hi. Um, that's going to be my test right there. Oh, you're putting the pressure on my bishop. Can't have that. <laughs> you will not advance. So now queen a2, and I've got this cool battery. That's actually, no, I don't want to leave this page. I want to stay. This cool looking battery right here. Let's play queen a2. Whoa, yeah, your knight cannot move or I will take a free bishop. And that's still true. 
So can d4 be cool? Bishop takes, knight takes, pawn takes, not very cool. Let's play c3 first. c3, d4. Definitely an exciting sequence. He, we, either of us can castle on either side. He's going to castle there. But now he's got three defenders, and I have two attackers. I still cannot push, but what if I castle over here? Is this super stupid? Is this super stupid? I think it's pretty stupid to just castle into danger, but that is what life's all about, danger. You see the kings on the opposite quadrants here? That's opposite sides of the board so that either one of us can... Whoa! Whoa, my knight! Either one of us can pawn storm the other and cause great pain and danger. So that's going to be me against him. I'm just going to play this pawn up here and see how he sweats after all. Should be pretty fun. <clears throat> now, great, another random pawn I can't defend very well. There's dangers on all sides. Oh, besides the fact that I had 0, 0.0 seconds on my clock. Why is my clock so persnickety today? I don't understand that. I actually don't mind losing this pawn. He could, it's, I see it's guarded, guys. I'm not totally blind, but he could trade his bishop for this knight and then take it. I don't mind because that's a pawn in front of his king. So I'll happily just checkmate him if he takes that pawn. And look at that, he thinks he'll do it. So let's capture this way so that I have an open file for my rook. The rook is pinned, so I can almost take this, but there is some one thing left guarding it. He's probably double thinking the wisdom of knight takes g2. Uh, did not expect. I think that's kind of stupid, actually. And jumps out there. Okay. Oh, I have no time again. So let's advance this and just see what he does. I think f4 is in order. f4. Excellent center. Now the bishop is powerful. Yeah, this is great for me. I'm not embarrassed at all that I'm down a pawn. In fact, I'm going to take this. Oh, no, I'm not. I'm going to run out of time. <laughs> now I'll take it. I don't know what I'm doing. The, the queen is... Now, I can't see. I'm running out of time. <laughs> this is stupid. I mean, three moves. I just blundered everything. Can I still win? Uh, should I pawn storm some more? I only have one rook left. It's a man with one leg, basically. That's what it feels like. I will let that capture so as to keep this cool diagonal going. Uh, the knight suddenly in a nice square. Oh, this knight takes d1. So blunderous. I'm in big trouble now. You might think there is some danger here. If you think that, you are correct. I don't know why I pushed that. It was just fun to do. He could actually have taken with... No, he couldn't. Duh. He, I was thinking, oh, it's checked, so he can do it. But no, just because something's checked doesn't mean you can do it. So my king is out around floating in a, in a world of death. Which is bad. <laughs> <laughs> If the opponent has a queen and two rooks on the board, maybe you shouldn't have your king on the fifth rank with no pawns within seven squares. That might not be wise. Now, somehow, it's all because I castled queen side. I really would, I would like to gaze again at this position um, to see if... Get out of your challenges. Get out. Um, to see if I, there's anything I can do that's smarter. I think b3 maybe would be nice and smart. B3 seems nice and smart. The diagonal's pretty useful. It's not that useful because it's blocked by two pieces, but it's kind of useful. I like B3. If knight in, I could just save my rook. Or I could take the knight and take, take. I get two knights for the rook, which is pretty nice. Yeah. 
I will decline that challenge, and I will uh, see what we've got here. A Lee Chess Master, Chess Instinct, and Mate Amargo. These are both good challenges. Uh, we'll take the Lee Chess Master, but right after that, we're going to play Mate Amargo, because he's one of my favorite people. I'll just click Have Fun, skip the good luck, and hello. Um, I'm not going to wish him good luck. No, he wished me good luck. I don't like luck-based games. This is no fun. Well, what are we looking at here? We've got knights in weird places again. This is his first chess 960, but in chess he is 2100, so this is a great way to crush my rating for sure. LOL, my rating, my farting. Okay, rating and farting are different words, so let's change that. Rating will be affected, colon left paren. Okay, he started off with, a, with an Oslin pin, and not often you get to do that. Yeah, I found that same move. I'm pretty smart, huh? My farting will be affected. <laughs> Sounds worse than it is, but it's it's actually a positive affectation. That's a word, right? It's a very positive affectation. They will be more gaseous and pleasant. What's this? Castling in two moves? You're pretty cool. Watch him attack this pawn with some crazy thing and have me not be able to defend it. I could play f6. In fact, I will. My center is better than yours. Here, I think he'll play f5. One square. Now if he pushes, I can push and there's no chance of an alpasol, which would be pretty painful. Kind of weird how our queens are stuck, isn't it? This kind of thing just does not happen much. Who puts their queen in the corner in the early little game? Nobody. Nobody, 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 nobody. But here, it's a common occurrence. So now we're kind of in the same position, but I have more center. So, so far I'm beating this master. He's not a real master. He's lie chess. Our queens are stupid. I. That means yes. Because my queen to be less stupid. Look out! Less stupidness is on the way. How much less? I don't know. It's just a little less. Should I take that? No. So I'll push. Don't let the knight come here and harass me. That would be painful. Uh, that pump's not even guarded. It. Everything's a little bit rickety. It, the position is not what you'd expect from chess, uh, like the bishop a8, for example. Things are not where they would seem. So you can have these weird weaknesses that you don't have in chess. And in this case, yes, problems because of this thing here. You can take here. So sad. Chess this is just like a losing streak. Maybe she should just be losing TV or something. <laughs> what am I doing? My pawn can't capture this way. So what should I do? I should make it so my pawn needs to capture the other way because, oh, by the way, it can't. Wow. Not so smart. Not even slightly smart. Extremely unsmart. That's how I would describe this. <laughs> Let's just close it up. <laughs> not make things any worse, right? Oh, I know things are pretty bad now. This lie chess master is not going to let me go. Since my king is all exposed, better trade everything I can. Get this rook down here just in time. Bad my bishop can't do anything either. <laughs> the 
Maybe he won't notice. Oh, maybe he won't notice. Checkmate. Actually, that was me. I didn't notice. Checkmate. Sorry for raiding. No problem. It should be 900 anyway. So there's no worries here. Wow. Let's play one more game, and then we'll play with Mate Amargo. This time, I'm going to lose again, but I will have fun doing it. Hmm. So there's a question. Am I running a baby daycare? The answer is yes. I'm just not actively involved. Let's try this way. Because um, I just play chess and the babies scream in the background. It's nice ambience. Or is it ambiance? You ever notice that ambient and ambiance have the same letters? They're just pronounced super weirdly. I blame ambiance. I think ambience is way better. There we go. It's not all beyonds, unless you're at an expensive restaurant. You just have to find someone who agrees with you. Ambience. If you want to mispronounce a word, you can usually find a YouTube video that will support your theory. Case in point. How do you guys think you pronounce this thing? Maybe shot and totten. <laughs> I'm laughing already. <laughs> you guys don't even know what's coming. Okay. How to pronounce shot and totten. Now I'll give you a hint. The O is supposed to have two dots above it. So it's like shit, because it's German. So that's my hint. So now I want to hear, I want to hear in the chat. Here's the chat. How to pronounce, pronounce, I'll just say pronounce. Okay, so you guys give me your answers and then we will see who's correct. It's Here's a hint, it's not shot and totten. I'm simply saying that because it's a good way to not give it away. Let's get the queen out with this way. It's a good guess, good guess. <laughs> AKA not a good guess. I wonder what moves we should make. Another annoying pawn in my face? Uh. I've got a knight here. Can I do something on that square? I don't think so. That square is way too guarded. Uh, oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. F4 is the move. After castling. Castle, then F4. Scott and Titan. I'm going to assume that's what that says. Give you another clue. Shot and Totten. Not very much, much of a clue, is it? Should I push again? Queen? Take with queen? Take with pawn? Take with pawn. How is this happening to me? King up wasn't very smart, was it? No, it wasn't. <laughs> I have to just checkmate him now. There are no alternatives. If only we were German. Then I could say there are nine alternatives, because no is nine. But there are nine. Yes. German, much better. There are nine alternatives. <laughs> Let's not trade my queen for a rook. Okay, chess whiz, use those brain cells while you have both of them. Oh, he adds me time. Oh, thank you. He doesn't want me to just run out of time and blunder. He wants me to just blunder with plenty of time. Shootin', shootin', totin. It's definitely hard to type your guess. <clears throat> Trust me, you didn't want to hear that anyway. No, in this place it would be kind, not nine. Yeah, I know, I know. It's not no. Thank you, German-Swiss person. He's from Switzerland, but he, I'm sure he speaks German. 
Um, it's not nine options. Not if you're just saying none of them. It should be none, right? There are none options. There are none good options in this position. I'm only down one pawn. That's pretty good for move 35. Usually I'm down way more by this time. I wish I had bothered to play this move. Okay, this is my big opportunity. Stupid AA bishop, indeed. Uh, this is my big opportunity to die. Oh, he just moves? Really? <laughs> problematic here. This is somewhat problematic. I don't know how to escape. Oh, that does not gonna work. He has this move. But now at least my knight is protected. Except not well enough. I give up. I give up. Yeah. Ah, apparently no pawns near your king. Not good plan. There's something wrong with my king. It has no pawns in front of it. So this is where it started getting painful, right here in this position. Suddenly I need another defender here, and king f2 actually removes the defender because it blocks off the rook. But I was thinking, oh, I need to guard this knight, but it's pretty stupid thought since all the actions occurring on f4. If only I had bothered with bishop c3, I could be playing bishop d2 right then, and that would be holding things together a bit better. Um, but I think I should have just played knight g4 here, attacking the queen, protected by the bishop, and I could push f5 at my leisure, followed by king up, check, 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 checkmate. I think that would have worked. Good games. I'll type GGS to him. Now let's go find out how it's pronounced. <laughs> Are you ready? Scody, Tootie. Scody, Tootie. Let's play Scody, Tootie. Scouty Tootie. It's a game. As you can see, it says game game right here. Uh, invented by Reiner Knizia, Knizia uh, who's a great game inventor. He also invented many other games, such as... I don't know. You'll have to Google it. So that's pretty cool. Let's play it, mate Amargo. But for some reason, he named his game Scouty Tootie, which I think is a, just a joke YouTube video, and there's no way it's pronounced that way. But since I can't find any other authorities on how it's pronounced other than me, who says it's short and short, it must be Scotty Tootie. It's very interesting. Um, I find it to be rather dubious. It's one of the mysteries of life. Is that you, anyone can put out a YouTube video with bad pronunciation. You don't have to be uh, a human. You can also be a dog because on the internet, nobody knows you're a dog. How do I get this stuff out? This is obnoxious. <laughs> this whole episode has just been one obnoxious after another. Look at that attack on the square. So I can't, uh, I can't move anything here. Should I put pawns on the same color as my bishop? No. I will though. Block off a square for my knight on the same color as my bishop. This is terrible. Ah. Oh. <laughs> so, so Draghouse said, "Everyone, let's leave." Let's leave and watch the other streamer. There's another streamer streaming right now. His name's Chess Bra because he's actually supporting some memories. And he wishes to have many viewers. But he has a fan here, Dragaus, who said, everyone leave and join Chess Bras. And then he got banned by one of my trusty mods, one of these green sword guys. See Ruffolino and Super Boo Ebb. These guys, probably Boo Ebb did it because he's related to Bras. Um, probably banned him for that statement. Because it's like, I don't know, I think it's a pretty cool statement. I should leave and watch him, right? So let's see how many viewers he has. I don't even care, but he is on the list. So if you care about quality chess, you should go watch him right now. If you care about watching chess with flounder and blunder, then you should stick around while I do that for another 15 minutes. Because that's the show, basically. I mean, you're not going to see good chess here. If you want to see good chess, don't be here. Uh, well, I guess you could watch my opponents, right? I mean, I lose every game, clearly they're playing pretty well. But this game I might win because I'm hundreds of points ahead of Mita Margo. And this is how you keep score. You just look at these numbers. Like, oh, I'm winning. My number is bigger. It works. 
Where do I put my knight? Like this, right? But that blocks in my queen. But I'll do it. It's going to be long and slow. So... Dragaus wants to increase his rating. Should I watch me or the Grandmaster? Law. Hmm. You should do. I've noticed, actually, that watching others does not increase your rating. What increases it is when the opponent resigns. That's that specific moment when you win. So let me add some detail. Play people who resign. That is the key to improving your rating. My knight is in place just in time for the pawn onslaught. Elo46 says if he wanted to see good chess, he would just let two engines play against each other. I assume he means chess engines, but he may mean combustive car engines, which would be pretty fun to watch them play chess. And then it says, I would eat popcorn. I'm not sure if that would help with seeing good chess, but I guess it somewhat makes sense. This is pretty good play, though, by my opponent, Mate Amargo. He's got some attacks here, but it's defended by a pawn, so he attacks the base of the pawn chain, guys. This is advice for you. If you see a pawn chain you wish to assault, attack the base of it, because that's what's not defended by a pawn. It's common sense, but... Common sense, but... This is rated PG. I'm not going to go any further, but common sense, but definitely applies to this chess position. Now that I've gotten all my minor pieces off the back rank, I'm ready... Uh, I'm ready for chess. Are you ready for this? Oh, I got another challenge. They just never stop. The no rager is going to help me rage. Can you read that? It's behind my logo. Yeah, you can see no rager up there. Like his rating's totally covered, but oh no. It's going to mess up my pawns. I'll just have to allow that. It's problematic that my queen is across from this bishop. The pin here is painful. Let's put the knight here. That should help. Yes, this is much better. Look at that, there's a free thing. Ow, he moved it. Okay, so can I attack that and trap it entirely? Is that totally trapped? No. It's too bad. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> These two knights are going to run rings around my two bishops. Block that with a bishop, I guess. Not that I want to. Very close position. Usually the two bishops a huge advantage, so let's trade those. I'm really glad that happened, actually. Let's see what I can do here. King up may be smarter, because I'm attacking this square. It's very good. Oh, he doesn't want to trade a knight for a bishop. I'll go here. One second on the clock. Let's be brisk. Okay, I'll, I'll make that trade so that I can have all this. Whew, now I have the advantage. There isn't any doubt in my mind that I am an advantaged person here. I'm definitely advantaged. It's as if I have a low income in the United States and I'm ready to file for my tax credits. That's the kind of advantage I feel. There's many other countries where it's true, but I live in the United States, so I'm more familiar with that. Oh, food stamps. Thank you. I'm a bit more advantaged now. Let's go in this way. Oh, housing assistance. Thank you. I love that advantage. Ah, free health care. Much appreciated. Thank you for that advantage. Uh, shall we trade? Knight for bishop? Probably not. Now I'm only advantaged by one pawn. That was really smart of him. In fact, I think I never should have moved off of this file because my rook was awesome and his rook was lame. And now our rooks are somewhat equivalent. Which is worse. In fact, nothing's happening. I guess I'll move my king behind here. No, that's too dangerous. Ooh. You're so cool. End games are not easy. Don't lose your rook. <laughs> I, I'm going to take his rook here if he 
doesn't protect it. Dragao says he's 1862. Oh, he's pretty old. I think I can win with this trade. Nope, I will lose with that trade. Off by one. I guess I won't trade. Uh, he takes with king, and then he does promote this pawn very quickly. Is he going to run out of time? I hope so. Let's get my counter pawn going quick. So now I'm in a problematic series of checks. <laughs> okay, you would rather do this to me? Check that man. I don't know, this is probably bad. This is probably bad. I should probably allow a draw here. Oh, I'm out of time. I was just noticing that if I take this, I lose. Analysis, help me. Oh, he says buy. <laughs> of course, buy. Like, oh, I win, buy. So if I take this and then push, he promotes with check. And then he goes and takes my pawn. So that won't work. So another choice is uh, check. He blocks. Then I push. Take, take, king out, push. Oh, that's much better. I win this. I win that, so that would be great. Um, so let's see. In this position, I check him. He does not want to block. Oh, he could block. When I push, he moves. But this is pretty good for me, too. I still win. So let's look again. Um, check. He doesn't want to block, so he wants to move. In fact, I would assume he wants to move um, back a little bit here, because then he can push easily. And then I can, nope, that's not gonna work. Oh, this is, oh no, I pushed the wrong button. Take me back. Check, push. I can't take this. He takes with king, push, the rook stops me. So this line, it looks like he's winning actually. Is this going to work? No. Nor does push work. So this is actually really good for him. So check and king there, and now I'm in trouble. Hmm. Wow, nice. OK, so maybe the check doesn't work. Another option is to just lose the rook. Nope, that's not going to work either. So this is the position where I ran out of time. Check doesn't work. Take doesn't work. Leave it doesn't work. King doesn't work. He's winning this. Why? Look at how I'm winning here. I'm so winning. Oh, chess was lose all his games. Can anyone see this? No, just us and both viewers. Oh, painful. Oh. Okay. I'm going to finish this off with a win. I'm going to win this game. Okay. Win this game. In fact, I'm going to take out the increment because who needs it? I'm going to require that I'm white because I mouse mice clicked, mouse slip clicked. I've got a white little dot there, which means I'm the white player. Looking forward to winning the final game of the stream. I think I lost every game this stream. Let's verify that here while we wait. Okay, so here's my profile. Here we go. Uh, one sec. Let's say one sec to my opponent. One sec to Ivar from to that guy. Um, oh, that's the one I'm playing. Lose, 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 lose. Lose, 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 lose. Anti chess win. Anti chess, I did not stream. So, I lost every game today. But, ready? I don't really have to ask. <clears throat> so, I lost every game so far today. Let's change that this game. The final game will be a victory. Watch this. Knight here, knight here. He's no way going to protect that pawn. I have the same problem, but I'm white, so he'll have the problem first. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, he can just block. I'm so stupid. 
Oh, you can also do this. I'm also so stupid. Nothing good? Okay. D4. Does that work? Or F4? Are these good moves? They seem good. D4. D4, C4, take some space. Mm, E4 is possible. Very good. <clears throat> oh, there's a conversation. Bigfoot just ate my dog, what should I do? That's not really a conversation. Not every question is worth reading, I suppose. Where do you live? Fortunately, I'm not being asked that. Because if I were, I would rudely not answer. Why do people graduate? Because staying in school doesn't make sense. Hmm. Makes sense. How did I run out of all my... Oh, there's no increment! What a doofus! Oh, there's no increment this game! No chess with the final stupidity. I have seven seconds for the entire game. No, I have to checkmate in no time. <clears throat> Uh, can, can I do this? This is not easy. Oh no. Here I was thinking I had plenty of increment. Oh, there goes my rope. Well, I've gotten an awful lot of moves played here. I should get a prize for that. Don't you think? Don't you think I, I should get a prize for having made more moves in seven seconds than I made in 53? Um, yes, there's actually a trophy for that. Let's see if it's on my profile yet. Loading. Oh, I don't have any trophies. I just lay microphone, which is people who watch other people lose. <sighs> I'll play you again. And this time I won't not notice my clock. <laughs> this is the final game of the stream. I'm sorry, challenger. I'm sorry, Red Rat fan. Sorry, but I'm going to play and win this game. It's a one-minute game with no increment, which I totally know about. It's totally not a surprise to me because it's something that I'm aware of right now. Much different from, say, for example, it being a surprise. Oops! Okay, that's not the move I intended. Hey, but it's kind of cool, actually. <laughs> what is my knight doing? Being crazy. Now I'm getting checkmated. Help! Help! How does, how does my king, how does my king find itself on fifth rank so much? How does my results always say lose? I don't understand. He says bye. Um, and I'll just send him a question mark. No, an exclamation mark. No, I'll send him an, an interrobang. Interrobang. That's the perfect punctuation. I really need to set up a keyboard shortcut so I don't have to Google interrobang every time I need one. But these things are useful. You just take them right out of Wikipedia. You paste them in here in the chat. And then I'll put these two of them because it took me so long. And there they are. They're exclamation marks layered on top of question marks for the ultimate confusion. And it means it combines the function of the question mark and the exclamation mark. Very good. Very good. That was, that was worthwhile. Um, it's the end of the stream, so I'm actually just going to be total failure here and say I lost every game. It's been a while since I've lost every game of the entire stream. So that's accomplishment in and of itself. If you're watching on YouTube, uh, sorry, but don't post in the comments that I lost every game because we don't want to spoil the surprise for the viewers. We want them to just suddenly realize that Chesswiz is a permanent and constant loser. That's not something you want to spoil. It's really something people should discover for themselves. This has been Chesswiz TV. Thanks for watching.